How's it going, New World? Sephir here, and today we are back to talk about an important topic, which is going to be uh, luck on gathering professions, right? So we're talking about finding rare materials. We're talking about finding things that are like blue and purple gems. We are talking about finding just gems in general, uh, the rare and green and rare components from like flowers and things of that nature, and also uh, some of the lumbering uh, mechanisms that come into place, right? Uh, so there are two big major factors that come into play when you are getting a chance at finding a rare item from a node. And so the first factor is going to be your mining luck which is a attribute that you can get on armor pieces. You can have one on every single armor piece, and there are some jewelry pieces that increase this. So as you can see here, I have mining on every single piece of my armor, and I would put this on if I wanted to go out and get mining stuff. There is one for harvesting. Uh, as you can see in my inventory here, I have a 20 intelligence 4.4 harvesting piece. Uh, so there are something for every gathering profession, right? Same goes for skinning, the same goes for logging, and even fishing as well. Uh, although fishing has a bit of a unique uh, mechanism going on. Um, there are no armor pieces for fishing as far as I know. There's just trophies, uh, which is going to bring us into our next topic, uh, which is going to be that you can also have trophies that increase your luck value, which is going to be part of that gear set. So if I go up here to my little sad shack in <laughs> Requater because it's the cheapest home, I can take a look and see that I do have some trophies on the wall, these little things here. And if I pull up the decorate thing, here I can see on the side I have a minor logging and a minor mining. Well, minor mining, interesting. Gathering trophy. Uh, and what this does is, is will increase, it doesn't say exactly, but the, the small one increases your gathering points by 500, which what that means is 5%. So you're getting 5% luck, and these are specific to a house, right? You can only have one per house, but if you have two houses, you can have that same trophy in another house. So keep that in mind. Um, so you want to have your trophy in, and then the final component to that luck factor is going to be your food, which you can have uh, right here, which would be like luck while mining by 1,000. And again, that 1,000 just means 10% here, so you just, you know, take off the zeros and, and two zeros, and that's what it is in terms of percent. I don't know why it's like that, but it probably should be changed. Uh, so that's essentially all that means, right? So with all these factors, you can get up to like 40 50% mining luck, and what happens is when you reach a threshold that's so high, you start getting the ability to get rare gems, the ability to get green things like that, and that's what you're seeing coming from these nodes. The second major factor is going to be your skill level in that profession. Here, I have 175 mining, so that means that I am going to be more likely to get blue gems and green gems and purple gems because my mining skill is high. So if you can get this to 200 and you can get perfect mining luck gear, then you could essentially probably get multiples of like purple spawns and maybe blue spawns of uh, rare materials and things of that nature. So I do have some uh, like sort of clip footage that is going to show exactly how that's going to work um, and what that is going to do. So I'll go ahead and hop on over to that one. Okay, here we are in that footage. I am wearing the exact same gear that I was showing you earlier, and I'll kind of briefly re-go over what it is. So as you can see, I have, you know, the helmet, I have, uh, you know, down the list, the, sh the shirt and everything. So this is all increasing my mining luck. Um, and then I also am going to activate the food. This one, uh, in this case, is a 1400 food, which is going to be 14% luck. So I'll go ahead and put that one on, and then I'll kind of show you where that uh, buff is going down at the bottom there, and then we'll take a look and see uh, as to what this is going to do. So this is not a guaranteed chance, but it is an improved factor, right? Uh, so when we take a look at this platinum node, uh, there's a couple of things that will happen. Like how high the node is, it'll look at my luck 
uh, well, it'll look at my skill level first, and it'll be like, okay, did you have enough skill level? And unfortunately, I didn't get anything there, but that's okay. Then it will look at my luck, and it'll be like, okay, what's your luck at? Let's put another multiplier factor in. So it's going to keep rolling dice until you randomly get something good. And the higher luck you have, the better that odd is. And right there, so you can see I get a Amethyst Gem, which is a purple gem off of the Platinum Node. And the reason why I got that was because I had high mining luck and high mining skill so those two factors are going to come in and that same thing applies to uh low level nodes too which you still need and this is not just a high level thing it's you know again 175 mining will help me get that factor up but it's not just a high level thing it's a low level thing too so if you have all mining luck you will see better results out of iron veins given you have that threshold so here i get nothing but if I try again, I might actually get something, and I do. I get 12 Fey Iron, a Flawed Moonstone, and a Flawed Ruby. So I'm actually getting pretty good results with this Mining Luck. And I don't know what the exact breakpoints are, but there seems to be luck breakpoints within the game. I'll get you some more research and kind of let you know what those are. But here you can see I get another Brilliant Jasper, which is you know, four more plus on this. So let's go back into the other section and take a look at a few more things here. All right, so what does all of this mean? This means that the way that you can get some of these rare materials and things like that, like this whisper wood and things of that nature, even some of these legendary materials, is going to be by, and, and even void metal, because you can also get this from iron veins. It's going to be by essentially increasing your luck factor within that type. So if you are going to go out and binge mining, have a mining set, have mining food going, ideally have a proficiency booster too, because when you get that node you'll get more of that object right if you proc the extra so you need to kind of think before you go out and do all this stuff oh and one final thing i did forget to mention there is uh luck on your tools i don't actually have that on my mining thing so i'm gonna remake some tools but i wonder if i have any in particular uh nope not really uh so basically there is like a resource yield. There's also like a luck thing. So you can kind of add that into your factor um, on getting some extra, you know, boosts in that percent. So I'm wondering what happens if you can get up to like 50% luck or 100% luck. Because I bet you could see a lot of these rare materials a lot more often. And if you could be somebody that focuses on a particular profession, like let's say I really wanted to go into mining or logging because I have, you know, 300 constitution or something like that, then I could theoretically be farming very, very efficiently, especially with all the right boosts, with all the right trophies. And then there is one final thing that kind of uh, matters. So... There are some like benefits to when your faction owns a territory, right? Um, I don't know where it lists it at, but there's like something like 550 global luck or something with everything. And there's also some forts that give luck too. I just don't know if I can find it. Some of them are like fast travel uh, locations and things like that. But um, I'll, I'll research a little more and see if I can find out where that is. But I do know that the more territories you own, the more like luck you get. So if your faction is like crushing it, they'll be able to get a lot more uh, bonuses for that nature. So I'm wondering how high this luck factor actually gets into. So that'll be something interesting to take a look at. So again, all this applies. It's not just mining. You can get a logging set. You can get the rare logging materials. You can get a harvesting set. You can get those dragon glory flowers that are for the main story quest line. You can get... Um, all the green components that are required for alchemy and things of that nature because a lot of people they start leveling their profession and they get stuck right uh, but the biggest thing that i saw was mining for gems because being able to proc an epic gem and some blue gems off of platinum and things like that and multiple blue gems like i've gotten i've gotten nine blue gems from a single platinum vein just by having full luck uh, so it's actually pretty crazy on what you can get out of this sort of thing uh, so all of these things will just increase your yield, and then you can sell these items on the auction house. You can use them to boost your crafting skills. And me personally, I'm working on getting every single profession in the game all the way up. So that's going to be the direction I'm going at for that. 
Um, so, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of these things. Uh, there are um, one final note, actually, a final, final note for sure. There is some fishing, like, I don't know if it's like gems or things like that you can slot in for basic luck. And we'll talk about that in another video, uh, because I think that fishing is probably one of the most hidden professions in the game. It seems to have a lot of really good stuff that you can get. Uh, within that profession and I'm going to spend some more time to kind of level that up all the way eventually I just can't do it right now because I have some more pressing matters that I need to get to uh, but I will try to do so um, pretty here shortly to kind of test all this stuff but the next thing I'll be testing on and showing a lot more of is going to be like actual luck uh, so like here on this item has like 2.3 percent chance to get rare items from chests and monsters um, I'm going to be doing a full deep dive into our better understanding of how this works now and some of the gear thresholds and stuff like that. So you can take a look at that in the upcoming video. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this information useful. I hope it helps you obtain the items that you've been looking to get that you just don't understand how they're proccing or how they're happening. And if you did enjoy the content, please be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell as that will help out the channel. We also have a join button if you're interested in supporting us further, which has perks, badges, emojis, and special benefits for members. So make sure to check that one out. And lastly, we have a Discord, which will give you access to the community and also just you want to ask me some questions in general or hang out with some like-minded New World players. It's completely, you know, open for everyone to join. It's in the description down below. There's a link there, so feel free to join and uh, chime in there. So once again, thank you for watching, everyone, and we will catch you in the next video.